Hi everybody, see you again. In the last week's video, I introduced how to choose salt paste. Today, I will talk about the topic of the salt paste printing process. I reckon this is the most important process in the PCBA industry. As you know, the SMT process is mainly salt paste printing, components marked, reflow soldering, and the AOI optical inspection. Most people only know that there is such a process, but they don't know much about its detail. So what's the salt paste printing? What's the process of it? I believe everyone is very unfamiliar and curious. Now please follow me to know the word. Salt paste printing is the process that moves the paste through the holes of the stencil to touch it to the PCB and the prints on the pads. For example, salt paste printing is a bit like painting a wall, but the difference is that the former requires a more precise repeat application of salt paste to a given position of the circuit board and the amount of salt paste needs to be controlled. So how should the salt paste be pretty? How to control the amount of salt paste? That's what we are going to cover next. First, before printing, we need to check the quickness of the PCB to be printed. Take whether the surface of a PCB to be printed is complete without defects and dirt. Check the steel stencil is much with the PCB and whether its tension meets the printing requirements. Check whether the stencil is blocked. If there is any blockage, whip the stencil with dust-free paper and alcohol and dry it with an air gun. When using the air gun, keep a distance of 3 to 5 cm from the stencil. Check whether the salt paste used is correct and whether it's used in accordance with storage and use of salt paste. Remarks. Pay attention to the temperature, recovery time, storing time, the distinction between need free and need containing extra. Secondly, we have to debug the printing equipment. We need fix the quick stencil to the printing process and debug. Okay. Assemble a clean and good doctor blood to the place. Add the salt paste to the stencil with a stirring knife. The head of the paste is about 1 cm and the width is 1.5 to 2 cm for the first time. The paste length depends on the PCB's length. And the two sides are about 3 cm longer than the printing air. After process, Add salt paste every two hours, and the amount of tin is about 100 gram. Put the PCB board for printing the first five pieces boards to be printed required for inspection. After the printing quality is OK, ask for IP goes for the first time inspection, and after confirming that the printing quality is good, Notify the production line operator to start production. Finally, during normal printing, some issues need to pay attention. Number one, the operator needs to check the printing effect every half an hour to see if there are any defects such as poor weighting, bridging, offset, overweighting, etc. and focus on checking the printing of complements with dense pins such as BG, CoFP, SOP, socket, and so on effect. Number two, every five pieces is printed. The steel stencil needs to be cleaned once. If there are components with two dense pins, BG, CoFP, SOP, socket, and the PCB, the cleaning frequency should be increased and cleaned once every three pieces. Number three, 
during the production process, if it is found that the continuous three pieces plating is not good, the technician should be notified to debug it. The PCB board with poor plating should be cleaned. When cleaning in poorly plated PCBs, don't use hard objects to scrape the surface of the PCB directly to prevent scratches on the surface of the PCB. PCB with guard fingers should avoid the guard fingers. After repeatedly whipping with dust-free paper and a little alcohol, use an air gun below dry, check under magnifying glasses. No residue sold paste is okay. On the printing process, it's necessary to regularly check whether the salt paste overflows and collect the overflowing salt paste. After the production is over, the accessory and tools such as salt paste, scraper and stencil should be recovered and the fixture should be cleaned according to the storage and use of salt paste and guidelines for cleaning of stencils. Finally, please subscribe to our channel. If you like the video, click the like button and hit that bell button. It will remind you when we update the new video. You could leave a message in the comment here. If you have any questions, see you later.